we all have been enthralled by Sora. Sora is a model from OpenAI which was released a few days back that really changed the way we used to think about converting a text prompt into video. Sora has set a new benchmark and still there is no model out there which can perform at the level of quality which Sora does. That is why when I stumbled upon this new project called as Open Sora, I was intrigued. These are the very very early stages of this pro uh, project and still the quality is not at par with Sora but I think the way this progress is happening with this project that time is not far away. Also one of the reason this project uh, doesn't have that quality of the Sora is that it, it has been built on a very limited budget. I think few of the H100 GPUs. I also tried to install it, this open Sora on my uh, community uh, GPU hardware where I had just one GPU and it was not it was I think some RTX one but it failed to install otherwise I would have shown you the whole installation but I will do the second best and I will show you what exactly this open Sora is and then how can you get it installed if you have access to the GPUs which can sustain this. Open Sora primarily helps you generate high quality video efficiently via diffusion models, providing open source tools for data pre-processing, training with acceleration techniques like sequence parallelism and inference. It also leverages transformer architectures like STDIT and also it uses optimized components like flash attention, VAE and text encoding with T5. Model weights are already available on Hugging Face and also the installation instructions are present on this GitHub repo and I will show you shortly. Now before I delve deeper into this open Sora, it is important to learn the terms which I have introduced. For example, diffusion models. Diffusion models are a class of AI models that learn to generate data by gradually denoising random noise, simulating a reverse diffusion process. Then we also touched upon the terms like uh, sequence parallelism. Sequence parallelism involves executing different parts of a sequence or series of computations for that matter simultaneously to increase performance and efficiency. Then I mentioned that OpenSora uses STAIT transformer and this is primarily a transformer architecture which has been designed for efficient handling of spatio-temporal data typically used in video processing or analysis. Flash attention is quite common. It is an optimized attention mechanism that significantly reduces the computational cost and memory footprint of processing large sequences in transformer models. Then I have discussed this VAE in various other videos. It stands for variational autoencoders and it is a class of machine learning models that learn to encode input data into a compressed latent space and then decode it back often used for generating new data samples. And as I mentioned, this open source also used text in, uh, encoding with T5. That is primarily a method using the T5 or in other words, text to text transformer transformer uh, model to convert text into a numerical representation that captures linguistic and semantic information facilitating various na natural language processing tasks. So this is what Open Sora provides. Now, now I think you should fair, have fair idea about what Open Sora is. If you go through its website, you can see that these are the demos. These are the videos which have been created from the text prompt. So let's start from the left. First one is a serene night scene in a forested area. The video is a time lapse, capturing the transition from day to night with the lake and forest serving as a constant backdrop. You can see lake is not moving, but the uh, night sky is because there's a time lapse, and it is the reflection is also being seen in the lake's water. And now, if you look at the second one, it is a soaring drone footage captures the majestic beauty of a coastal cliff. The coastal cliff is there, ocean is there, and the water is gently lapping at the rock base. How nice is that? And then also the greenery links to the top of the cliff. Very cool. 
and now at the final pro uh, text prompt you can see that the majestic beauty of a waterfall cascading down a cliff into a serene lake now this one is okay i think uh, the left one is okay but the right side does not look too real also the there is some discrepancy or mismatch between the image behind this waterfall and the waterfall itself also the both waterfalls left and right i mean they are different in a, in a sense anyway if i go down there are a lot of other examples you can see for example this one is really good where a bustling city street at night filled with a glow of car headlights you can see that they are just zooming past and looks quite real just like in some of the movie shots which is nice also second one is also good um, it's a maybe you know the sunlight is a bit hazy but otherwise looks good and the underwater scene is also quite good looks quite real to me coral reef is not that visible but good enough i should say and we can already tell that it's not at the same quality as uh Nora, but as i mentioned it has been done on a limited budget okay now when it comes to installation all you need to do is to test provided you have good gpus and i will show you which gpu do you need now i think they already have given it somewhere in this github repo but i'll check it later first make sure you have conda installed then create a conda environment make sure you are using python 3.10 and you must have torch and torch vision installed then these parts are optional but i would highly suggest you install them all of these flash attention and then uh, apex x former and all of these requirements with the uh, after cloning this github repo of open sora once you are done then you need to go to uh, this page at the github repo and download this model with pixarte and then once you are done then you can do the inference from here and you can also download t5 from here and then this is how you pass the inference there are different examples which you can use and it is telling you how much memory you would need 22 gp memory 24 and it keeps increasing at how many steps are there now as this is the gp which you would need and which is a bit expensive so and it is not one i think you would need multiple of them because you are generating video after all but anyway i think pretty cool and really a good step in the right direction we really need more open source model because open ai is not open at all uh, everything is closed so open source a very good step in the right direction so i think let's wait for them to evolve more and hopefully i will have access to some more good gpu where it could sustain this model anyway i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share in your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching